Beach is no barrier to building a great business. And the shark's next meal is someone who won't slow down. My name's Peter, I'm from Adelaide, I'm 72 years old. And I've uh, invented a, a small solution for a major, major problem. At the time that I came up with the idea, most of my friends were looking to retire. That's not my scene. I've always been motivated to keep going. I've never really stopped and thought, hey, I should retire, uh, do I want to retire? Um, that question has never, ever come up. When you sunk a quarter million dollars into it, you can't give up. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling a little bit nervous, but uh, if I wasn't, I think I'd be more concerned. If you're not pumped up to go into there now, um, I think you're going to fail. Hello, Shark Tank team. Um, my name's Peter Coleman. I'm from Adelaide, um, and I'm the inventor of a product called Mini Pallets. Um, it's a very, very simple product. If you don't get the idea very quickly, uh, there's something wrong with one of us. <laughs> um, there just to give you a bit, little bit of the background, um, there's 50,000 back accidents reported every year through bad lifting practices. There's a very, very simple solution. And I don't believe anybody in the world has come up with a product that I have. Um, and I just... Peter, showed... just before you go on, how much are you looking for in your investment? Uh, $200,000. $200,000, yeah. Uh, for 20%. 20%, right. Yeah. Cartons get delivered everywhere, so somebody's got to come along and lift that. If it's real heavy, uh, it's probably got to be two people. There's a real danger there, potential for back accidents. I came up with a product, it's called a mini pallet. And the, the basic idea is this, when product's delivered, comes off a production line or gets delivered to a store, instead of going on the ground where they've got to be lifted again, they're put on a mini pallet. All you do is slide a hand cart underneath, wheel them off. Hmm. Put them down. Can I have a look at the product? Yeah, of course you can. How, how long have you been doing this? Thanks, how long has this been in existence for? Uh, about six or seven years. OK, and how, what, can you talk through the, the cost to make, cost to sell, what's your business model and hmm. impress us with numbers? Yeah, all right. Um, we've sold about 100,000. Oh, um, shit, OK. Last year was fairly good. So what are you selling for? $12. Well done. What are the costs of making them? Uh, around about $5. And you sell for 12 Is that retail 12. or wholesale? No, that's, re that's retail. You've got another product over there that's round. Do you want to just finish explaining that to us as well? This is called a garden pallet. Right. Um, and it's used basically to move pot plants. Yeah. Now, they are heavy and they can break your yeah. back if you lift them. We reckon we can drop the divorce rate by about 50%. <laughs> Is this solving any real problem? And I'm looking, I'm like, what is it? I don't get it. You actually have to put your box on this yeah. in order to actually more easily transport your box. Yeah. So if you don't put your box on this, you've still got to lift your box up and put your box on this. You only got to put it on once. Okay. Can I ask you how you sold your 100,000 and where do customers come from? Yeah, yeah, it's a good question. Yeah. We've sold about 30,000 to uh, Australia Post and we've sold them to wineries, pubs, clubs, uh, printers. We made about $80,000 last right. year. What do you think next year will be? Well, it depends a lot on, on a couple of things we're working on. We are now talking to a company in the States. We've got 5,000 outlets. Now, if they take 10 only each, there's 50,000 mini pallets. Okay. Peter, let's assume I invest with you. What's the big, hairy, audacious goal to get this business to be worth 10 million? Uh, probably the contacts in the do-it-yourself stores in the United States, like right. the Lowe's. So and Home the Depot. Little, Home Depot, yep. OK, Peter, you've answered my question. I'm in, 200,000 for 25%. Oh. So you got one bid on the table. I think the business is a pretty simple business model. All we've got to do is get a significant customer like Home Depot in the US yep. and provide cash flow without you having to do too much. Yep. We okay with that? Yep. You're on the board. <laughs> pretty, yeah, pretty excited. I'm not too sure about the 25%, but... 
Peter, um, I, I know where I am with this one. I don't know if I'm the right person for you, but I think you've done a great job. And Thank you. congratulations on where you've got the business today. But I'm out. Thank you. Um, I almost want to do something, but I don't quite believe in the product. And yeah. I'm probably wrong, yeah. right? But I, I, I can't breach that gulf, so I'm going to wish you all the best. I'm out, I, I really do hope you get a deal to here, mate. That'd be good. Thank you. Thank you. Peter, I actually do believe in the product, absolutely. Yeah, I'll match Andrew, 200,000 to 25%. I think my experience in, in supply chain logistics is a bit deeper than his. Yeah. Uh, but he's probably got some contacts in America that may be useful to you. So you have the two offers on the table for 200,000 for 25%, the same offer, and you've got one more shark to go. So Peter, let me tell you where I'm up to. I do see the consumer yeah. market as really important to this. I also see your global market as important. So I am going to make you an offer, but there are a few dependencies. Right. One is it's $300,000 for 40%, and that's on the basis that I split it with Andrew. So in other words, I haven't even checked with him, by the way. But that is because I see what he's going to bring, which is the US market and a global application. And I also know that you'll need some hand-on support in Australia. So to make it worth our while, 20% each seems like a fair and reasonable thing. There's a lot of work still to be done. Yep. You've got good traction, but I want to see this to be a mega business. And I know that's going to take She's my time and energy. She's giving you a haircut, by the way. It's called a haircut, Peter, in anyone's language. Did you want to go up and do a counter-offer to them? Yeah, um, the 40% is, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Uh, 300 grand, I reckon, is a bit low. Hey, very uh, low, Peter. What's really important is the value of the 60%. You're smart enough to know that. That's really what's important. The rest is rubbish. What about 400,000 400, for 40%, and that's 200 grand each? and your expertise from both your companies, what you've got in the States, what you're building in the United Kingdom and the States. Why don't we split the difference? 350 for 40%. Come on, let's do the deal. Don't take the haircut, you don't need to. 4,400, you got yourself a deal. So basically he's getting what he wants, but two investors. <laughs> Do you, nego do you negotiate like this all the time? I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm too soft. I think we're getting the haircut. <laughs> okay. It's a deal. You got the wrong shark. <laughs> I'm going to ask one first. You don't get up. Congratulations. Thank you. You're going that way. See you, Peter. Yay! Oh, bring it in. <laughs> Wow! Ooh, big one. Congratulations! Yeah, thank you very much. How's that little heart of yours? Better now. I'm happy. I, I, I was done. I was done very early. He's a quiet achiever, this guy. <laughs>